Hi, today I'm, I'm going to show you how TAC implements OAuth for authentication of API that we expose. Um, so TAC supports OAuth 2 and it does not support for one, version 1. Um, in terms of grant, grant types, it supports client credentials, passwords with fish token, and authorization code. Tyke act as the authorization server for these grant types, and there's a special endpoint in order to create the access token. Um, so in order to configure our OAuth, we need to select the client credentials and then token. After that, we create a matching policy for the token, and at the end, create a client ID and assign the policy to it. Once we have all the information, we can make an API request, request call for that endpoint that I mentioned. This is the endpoint, OAuth slash token, and we call it with these details, which I'll show in a bit. So I'm going to the dashboard. I will add a new API. We'll choose OAuth with client credentials, token, and save. After that, I will create a policy. I will set the reset for the future. I will add the access, yeah, in the access right, I will add the policy, the API I just created, and create. Now, I'm going back to the APIs, and here I click on OAuth clients. Here I can create a new client ID. Um, on the redirect URI, we need to put something. It doesn't really matter what. It's not being used, but it needs to be there. And I choose the policy I created. Now I can see that I have client ID and secret. We need to get the base 64 of these two. So I'm going to this website and I'm going to put the client ID and secret with a colon in between and hit encode. That's it. Now I have the token. I'm going to post them and here I'm going to put my API. So I'll take it from here. I will add the endpoint. From, from the headers, authorization, basic, and I will copy the 64 encoding of the client in secret. Then we're gonna change it to post. In the body, we'll change to the form. And now we'll, I will put in the details that I have here. Run type. Is and credentials. Client ID and client secret. Going back to my dashboard and I will get details again. Here. 
and that's it. That's what it's supposed to have. Polarization, basic, and then plan type and credentials, client ID, and plan support. Now we're gonna hit send and hope. And there we are. There we go. We have the access token. And it's expiry. So to sum up, that's what I did. We send the request to the auth, the auth token. Then we did a base 64 encoding of the client and ID and secret. We set up the grant type as client credentials. And then we put again the client and ID and secret. Using this, using this token, we now can call the API that we created. So now what we need to do is to call the API that we created. So we're gonna call the API without the auth endpoint. Here's my API, my auth API, in the authorization code, I put bear, and this token I took from here, basically, and pasted it here. And now when I call it, I see authorization field is missing. So when I tick it, I go through and get the page. And that's it about our two with confidentials.